Hello folks, I'm Coach Comprido, and today I'm gonna answer some questions my kids' parents had. Let's have fun. Yeah, definitely I would. I start Jiu-Jitsu when I was uh, maybe eight, nine years, no, nine years old. I stop and I come back again when I was, when I was 16. And it's one of my biggest regrets, you know, that I did not continue uh, since uh, the first time I tried. Uh, I would say four years old, if he's a smart kid, four years old will be a good, uh, a good age to start. But we, I know some academies have a uh, like little uh, kids class, maybe two, three, you know. That will be nice, you know, if you have a good coach, a good instructor, uh, that will be fine. But definitely four or five years old, I think is best. When you're looking for an academy, you have to take a look on the instructors, you know. Doesn't no matter if it's a is an adult or, or or for kids, you have to feel confident that that person have the knowledge to transfer to you. You know they know how to transfer that knowledge, and they have the experience, and they are who they say they are. Some people are are better prepared to teach kids. I have kids myself, but I have two instructors here who are awesome with kids you know they do a, such a great work i just hop in once in a while to help and to stay close to my kids but uh, some people have that ability that kindness you know and uh, i think that's it yeah if your kid is small he's small there's nothing you can do if he's big he's big you know it is a age that uh, the kids uh, go to the older kids class or or then to the adult class uh, and then normally we do this by age but you're always gonna analyze uh, if your kid is prepared to go to the next level to the more advanced class but you know we are what we are if your kid is small he has to learn how to do jiu-jitsu being small you know so I strongly recommend get them in the gym So kids class a little bit different than the adult classes, but as anything in life that you want to learn, you have to learn the basics first. So over here, we are really focusing, make sure our students learn the basics, understand the, the most simple concepts. We want to make sure they are having fun in here. They are not just here because the parents tell them to come. We want to give them a good time when they are here. And then, as the kids show uh, interest, we might start to lead them to the competition where they're gonna have to, to start to train a little bit harder. But I think, uh, you know, we should always be careful with kids in competitions, not overdo, not pressure too much the kids. Competition is stressful, is awesome for everybody, I recommend to everybody, but I don't like when people make the kids compete every weekend. I think that's way, way too much, you know? I think, a, awesome number of competitions for kids is four maybe five times a year I think that will be enough no no here in the Academy we have a lot of a lot of growth you know so it's always easy that you find especially on the kids class uh, actually the little kids class you have more more little girls than, than boys but it doesn't matter especially when they are kids is is easy to match boy and girls you know so I, I will see no problem in, in having, I know it's some religion issues, uh, depending what is the age of the girl, but we have enough girls here that even if it is a girl who only want to train with girls, we can, we can take care of that. Group lessons are better. Group lessons are better, especially for kids. When, when we're talking with the kids, it's not just what your kid gonna learn, but the, the interaction that he's gonna have, the experience that he's gonna have with so many different kids, same age, but higher belts, different ages and sizes, uh, different um, 
ways to do stuff, you know, like this social interaction is, is, is really important for the kids as well. Uh, especially if you have kids who are already doing homeschool, if you come and bring your kids only for privates, you know, and, and if, if your kid is having private, you know, imagine a seven year old having a private with me. I'm the only sparring partner that he has. Makes no sense. Private class are awesome. They're awesome compliment, you know, and then this go against my, my business, you know, but they really believe that uh, private class are a compliment to the group class. And then you can figure out the details, identify what are the mistakes that your kid is doing, what are the weakness that he has, what is his strengths, and work uh, specific to him on the private class. But I will never quit group class to do only privates. Any person uh, should to come to the academy. This uh, is, a, is a place for knowledge, for, for uh, acquire knowledge. Okay, they should to come here, your kids should to come here, not thinking in belts, not thinking in stripes, but thinking in what he's gonna learn today. Try to, to learn something every day he comes, you know, a little thing, a little detail. And if he's progressing, he's, he will change belt. But if his solo goal is change his belt, the, this is not the best way to do it. The best way to do when you want to achieve something is work hard to improve yourself. You know, your main goal when you do any kind of educational activity should to be have more knowledge, you know, not get a belt or a congratulations or, or, a, or a little prize. Guys, I appreciate you guys stick with me today uh, if you have any questions please let me know you can leave some comments you can send me a hug kiss to my mom hug to my father whatever like subscribe you know send me an email whatever see you soon